welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a full day of eating. We haven't done one of these in a while, so I'm super excited to do this today. If you are new here, hello, my name is Colleen. I am a non-diet intuitive eating dietitian, and I teach and preach how to live a life of no food rules, no dieting, no restriction, but eating in a way that also feels good both mentally and physically. That's what we do here on this channel. And that's what I like to do on these full days of eating is show you what that actually looks like when it's put into practice because it's not gonna be necessarily all the cookies, pizza, cakes, donuts, and stuff that you would think you'd eat all day long when you actually put this stuff into practice. So that's what we're gonna do here today. If that sounds like it's right up your alley, be sure to give this video a like and hit subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a video and you can learn how to live a life of no food rules too. So before we get into all the things that I had this morning and I'm going to have, I just wanna take a second to shout out today's sponsor, which is Safe and Fair. If you guys follow me at all, you know I am a legit obsessed with Safe and Fair. Their granolas and their popcorn are my absolute favorite. They have some really good flavors right now. I've been eating them nonstop. So I will share that more later, but a quick shout out to them for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, let's back up to this morning. I had some, I made this French toast bake. I'm gonna put the recipe on my blog in a couple weeks, but this is so good, you guys. I just felt like I needed a little bit of a snack this morning. I also tend to like something a little carby when I have my morning coffee. I don't know if it like settles my stomach. I was also feeling, like I said, like I just needed a little snack this morning. So I just literally cut into that and I had some of that this morning. And then today I am able to kind of listen to my fullness, my hunger and fullness cues throughout the morning. Sometimes that's not always the case. I don't have any meetings this morning. So I waited till I got hungry, wanted a meal and I, I'm having some overnight oats. So that's what we're gonna have today. I made my, I've been loving overnight oats lately, you guys. I do a half cup of Greek yogurt, oats, and milk half cup each of those, mix it up, and then you can add berries. I added raspberries, peanut butter, and then coconut extract. I went to grab the cinnamon in my pantry and I saw the coconut extract. And I was like, let's add some of that in there. So we got a little bit of kind of like island vibes going on with the coconut. I'm very excited to dive into that. One little hack that you can do with overnight oats, I share this a lot, is if you want to add a protein boost, I didn't go to the gym this morning, but on days, especially that I do, I will make them with a protein shake just to boost the protein a little bit in there. It can be a really great way to help you stay full and satisfied, help your muscles recover after a workout. So give that a try. And then I can't remember if I said I added peanut butter, but I added peanut butter. I will link the, these little jars. They're so cute. You guys i have been wanting them for a while and I got them. They just have a little tiny spoon. They work so great. So I will link these. I think it was like $18 for the two of them. It came in a two pack, but yeah, so I'm going to dive into those. And then we have a busy day ahead. I am making some videos. I am recording a podcast. We have just it's gonna be a day full of things. So I'm going to get, I'm gonna mix this all up. Oh yeah, baby, so good. We are going to get on with the day. It's supposed to be gorgeous here. So yeah, enough chit chat for the morning. I'm going to eat this. Hop to it. Okay guys, I am making lunch right now and I have been on a huge, what I'm calling warm salad kick. So I don't like to eat raw kale. I usually don't like kale salads, but I do like them this way. So in this pan here, we have kale, olive oil, beans, and some ham. This is so good, you guys. This is such a simple combo. And then, so essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this lid on top of it, I'm going to warm this up, put it on about medium heat. There we go. It's just gonna get a little bit, I always wanna say wilted, but warm, soft, the kale's gonna cook a little bit, and then I'm gonna top it with these oyster crackers. It is so simple, it is so good, you guys. So that's what I've been eating this week for lunch. These beans are so delicious. That's what we got going on right now. I have never really been a big beans fan, you guys, but lately I'm just absolutely loving them. You know, this kind of sounds like a strange, like pork and beans kind of lunch, but it's really good. I would highly recommend. So I'm going to eat this. I can't hear the crunch of the crackers. It's very satisfying. Someone told me, I posted this on my Instagram stories the other day and they said you should try goldfish. And I'm like, why did I not do that? Like a salad that smiles back. Yes, please. 
And then I just have these to eat as I like. I did forget to mention the snack that I had. So I actually had a snack before lunch. I had, I felt some hunger mid morning. So I had some leftover pasta from last night. We had just spaghetti for dinner. So we had some of that in the fridge. So I just grabbed that. And then I did go for a walk before I ate lunch. It's so nice out here today. So I'm trying to take advantage of all of the nice weather, but that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. And then I will check back with you guys later. Cause I'm probably gonna want a little something, something sweet, but for now, cheers with kale. Mm, mm, mm. One more thing. The reason why I'm really loving kale salads lately is because it does have a decent amount of fiber in there, which is gonna help you feel full. I'm talking about gents nutrition here for a hot sec. The beans also can have some fiber in there. They also, this one has a lot of flavor and you can really kind of pile everything on in there. So it's got color, it's got protein, fat, carbs. It's really a one-stop shop and the flavor combos are endless. So give it a try, highly recommend. All right guys, your girl's got a sweet tooth. Oh. Mm. All right, so I'm having the chocolatey candy cane popcorn. My safe fair, it is so freaking good, you guys. Like, I need to show you this. You guys, it is quite literally like the most perfectly drizzled kettle corn. And there's actually even like small candy cane pieces on there. It is so good. Mm. And you guys already know their granolas are my favorite granolas. They're basically the only ones I stock in my house. I eat them pretty much every single day before I go to the gym in the morning. They are my go-tos. I like them because they're a little bit less dense than other granolas. They use puffed rice in them. So they're just a little bit less like a block of melted sugar, which would be delicious, don't get me wrong, but I like something with a little bit more texture. And that's not necessarily what I'm looking for when I want granola, you know? And as you can see right now, their drizzled popcorns are a fabulous whole grain snack, especially for an afternoon sweet tooth. I love these. Beyond their products being absolutely delicious, they're also allergen friendly and their granola is free from the top nine allergens. So get your hands on that. They also donate 3% of their proceeds to the Sean N. Parker Center for Asthma and Allergy Research at Stanford University. And I mean, who doesn't love supporting a company that gives back? I do. These holiday flavors are literally so delicious. Usually I'm a birthday cake girly. Their birthday cake flavor, both the popcorn and granola is amazing, but they have these holiday flavors right now, gingerbread cookie and chocolatey candy cane. Freaking amazing, like I've said, get your hands on these. You can use code NOFOODRULES for 15% off. Guys, get these before they're gone. I look forward to these every single year. So good. And that's 15% off their prices, which are already pretty fabulous. I'm a budget conscious scale myself, but seriously, these holiday ones don't last long. Again, that's code no food rules for 15% off at safeandfair.com. And guys, these are just a couple of their amazing products. They have so many other flavors of popcorn and granola. Like I said, the birthday cake, but also the honey crisp apple pie. Chef's kiss, so good. So I'm going to keep snacking and get on with my day. All right guys, I am making dinner right now. This is one of my favorite easy dinners. So I get this butter chicken sauce from Aldi. You can also get similar ones from like Target, Walmart. So I use this, I have some chicken that I'm going to, essentially I'm gonna put the butter chicken, some just like when I cut this up, make it bite size with some canned mushrooms. I'm gonna put all of that into a pan or a pot. And then I'm going to just literally microwave these. And then I'm gonna just make some rice. I like white rice. I find it much more satisfying than brown and that is a-okay. And then I always use some of this or you can use, just use broth as I'm making it. I actually have it right now in the rice cooker here. I love this thing. I'll link this in the description because I am literally obsessed with this. But that is what we are gonna have for dinner and Theo is my little sous chef. All right guys, it is obviously the next day. I wanted to make sure that I closed the loop on this full day of eating. I was so tired last night after dinner. So I had a little dessert, which I'll show you. And then I went to bed. So when we ate dinner, I had a little bit more on my plate than felt good. I was able to stop when I felt full and satisfied. It didn't feel the need to eat past fullness. That's what happens when you live with no food rules. It's easy to stop when you reach full and satisfied. I have left a little bit, so I had some leftovers that I ate early this morning. Leftover like stir fry dishes are my favorite snack. Absolutely love them. But then I made, my hair is crazy. Okay, so I had my hair in like a really cute ponytail earlier. I always tell myself like, I wanna be a ponytail girly, but I'm not. It hurt really bad. I also have a lot of hair, so it gets very heavy. Anywho, I wanted just a little something sweet and we got these 
when did we get them? About a week ago now. Also something that happened. The goal, I always wanna make sure this is clear. The goal is not to make food last as long as possible. It's to take the power back from it and not feel like you have to inhale it in 0.2 seconds. So we got these Little Debbie ice creams. They're really good. Last Friday night. And we have some zebra cake ice cream and oatmeal cream pie. I don't know which one I like better. I think, I like that this one has a little bit of chocolate in it, but I just love like the flavor of oatmeal cream pie. So I would highly recommend both of those, but I had a little of each last night. Like I said, I was pretty full after dinner. I was at a good point, so I didn't feel the need to eat a ton of them, but I wanted to satisfy the sweet tooth that I had, so I did that. And that was the end of the day. So I hope you got a little insight in what it actually looks like to live a life of no food rules and to be an intuitive eater. It's not necessarily gonna be eating the pints of ice cream all day. It's a lot of mix of stuff. So I'd love to hear in the comments what your biggest takeaway is from this. Maybe you learned a little hack, the protein shake and the oats. You can do it also with hot oatmeal. It works like a charm. To add a little bit of gentle nutrition, feel full and satisfied. Maybe you got a tip, anything, let me know in the comments. I want to hear about it. And big shout out to our sponsor, Safe and Fair. Thank you for sponsoring this video and thank you for consistently giving me products that I am legit obsessed with. And with that, I hope that this was helpful for you and be sure that you are subscribed, like this video, do all the things so that you too can make eating as easy as it was for me for this full day and literally have it take up very little brain space. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.